Hi guys, it's Michelle here. Just want to show you um, my little meander book that I have used and filled with vintage and ephemera. Admittedly, there are some Tim Holtz products and if we go along and I see any others, I'll let you know. I think I've got a Project Life card used in here. But mostly vintage and ephemera or items that I found whilst out in a charity shop. The first here is some chipboard scrabble cards that I found in a charity shop. So I've made use of them. As I said, it's a meander book, which is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, just neatly folded. And with these literally two simple card board fronts and back. So there's not a lot of room. But like me, I like things small and I like to cram as much in as I possibly can. I've got some rulers here from a Project Life card, which I've distressed up. This is themed around about the 1940s, so I've tried to find some ephemera to go accordingly to that era. So we've just got some images here that um, are reproductions. These are British, sort of like World War II, encouraging you to take precautions and things that you can do during the Blitz. We've got a journaling tag here. This is just a repurposed postcard, which I've just um, done some punching, which seems to be rather tucked in there. But here we go. And I've just backed it with some paper that I can't remember who they've come from, but there you go. And as you can see here, there is the pocket, and I've just done some gold spraying. I think I sprayed the um, original 12x12 piece of paper before... I um, folded it up. Now, as I said, some vintage. This is like a vintage buckle that I've purchased. I've just put it on some um, pop tops and raised it up. This is the back of um, some hook and eyes. And I just love the way it says about the war conditions. conditions. So saying, owing to government restrictions, it's just going into the quality. Anchor embroidery thread here. And... I had this little bit of, I had an idea that I was going to um, wrap some of my tea stained twine and I was going to make them miniature little pom poms. I never got round to it so I just thought, oh well, we'll just stick it in this book because it's got just a lovely little bit of orange for impact. I was going to do a little vellum fan at some point so I've coloured this in with Sharpies and not used it but I thought, hey, Now's the time to bring a little bit of colour and impact. A vintage uh, bus ticket. And a image from the Tim Holtz photo strip. And I think behind here we've got, let's see, we've got just a measurement tag. Of a journaling spot back on that postcard again. So playing for journaling. And then let's go off. To the next, I was trying to use up also little bits and pieces and scraps that I may have had kicking around on my table. I did this is um, I got it off of a little box. I brought the box from the charity shop, and I just love the fabric roses, the tassel. We've got a few little beads on here. I've had this butterfly on my desk and I just put a button on. I've got a little tag sitting here behind which I stamped on. We've got this lovely young lady image here and we've got some green thread. I've had this wonderful green thread sitting so I just literally neatly tied it up and glued. Vintage buckle, a um, vintage piece of hosiery. I recently was able to find, you'll see a bit later on, these lovely threads and so I've just enclosed these. I wanted to use them, wanted to be get them seen and another one of the Tim Holtz photo strip here. I just thought this could well be this young lady going out with her partner. So let me put that over there. The only downside to this 12 by 12 is that it 
is very chunky, very full, and I don't think it lends itself very well to be filled completely to the gummels with all the stuff that I've put in. I recently brought some netting here and I fussy cut this flower out. I've pulled a fabric pink flower and just glued it under another one of Tim Holtz photo strips. A little bit of the crochet here. I did staple a ribbon together which is all glued underneath this section here. Part of the Project Life card where I originally got the rulers from. I've got um, part of the more of the Project Life there. So little elements just tucked behind this vintage ephemera buttons card here. So I just love the lucky ladies and I actually enjoy these images here. On this one it has my grand's recipes from her. These have fallen out, dare I say it, the sellotape over the years has worn, it's no longer doing its job. So we've got some a recipe for Scottish shortbread and mushroom fluff. I went and had a look in my vintage stamps and I just found two. These are from France and we've got one on the other side. I just love the fact of it, the way it's been franked. Another image here. Lovely little old piece of ephemera here, some sort of snap buttons, a little needle case, there are needles inside. This image again of Tim from Tim Holtz. And this is the recent, let me move that over, this little sewing kit came with um, this hose mending inside, the needle case inside. I just thought it was so delightful and what I've done is behind it, it flaps forward, literally, and inside I have uh, some hook and eyes. Looking as if it really is worse for wear, but it is you know, wartime, yeah, I was going to say, what, we're looking at near on 70 years or so, you know, time has moved on, it served its purpose very, very well, and here some more snaps, and a little journaling tag, I'm not going to force that back inside, only reason why I've kept it in is because I've got another image there, it's on the back of a postcard, and this is an image from a magazine, but because this is all getting rather full now, I just love the image from a magazine of that era, so I've kept that just as is. And you come to the back, this is the plain 12 by 12 paper, the original, and you've just got another journaling tag here. No me, yep part of a postcard which I've just punched at the top. Fussy cut out some of these little clocks and enclosed just a vintage stamp there. Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed looking through. I had lots of fun. Now, I've done this little Miranda Mini, but I have now sensibly moved into a larger junk journal, so I am going to be showing you soon my next collage junk journal. Take care guys, thanks for watching and speak to you soon. Bye!